Jason from Pro Guitar Studio, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk about reggae rhythm because I've had a few comments and questions about how to do these kind of things and usually I'm going over lead guitar stuff. Um, so I'd like to sort of spend a few minutes on the rhythm aspect of things. So in terms of the reggae rhythms I'm gonna talk about here, uh, the three that I demonstrated in the video that you just saw would be what we'll call the single skank. So basically strumming on the offbeat, okay? So we're going one, two, or one and two and three and four. So we're on like the two and four. Or if you expand it out, it's like one and two and three and four and. But it's easier to go like one, two, three, four, just in terms of getting used to that, right? So what I'm gonna use here, I'm just gonna use one single chord to demonstrate these rhythms. If you wanna know more about the progression I use in the demonstration, uh, you know, feel free to let me know, I can let you know the chords. Um, but really I wanna focus on the actual strumming rhythm here, okay? So the first chord I did was an A major. You can do this on any bar chord, but really it needs to be a bar chord or at least a three string chord. You could do like a D shape, for example, of the ninth fret. And we could just do those three strings because you're able to mute it, okay? So the bar chord I'm doing is an A major bar chord, fret number five on all strings, and then the middle finger fret number six on the G string, ring and pinky on fret number seven on the A and the D strings. Now it's important to know that I'm really not strumming these strings a lot unless I want to hit a bass note. So I'm mostly, let's say focusing on the first three strings and sometimes the fourth, um, even though I'm holding the whole chord. So I could do like, like this, but I just prefer to hold the whole chord. You can do whatever you want here. So the first, first rhythm here, the skank, the single skank, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So in between, we're gonna basically have a rest to start off, and when we strum, we wanna make this chord very staccato. So even like Bob Marley stuff, you'll hear some, uh, like for example, stir it up, it's very like, it's barely even heard. They're basically just touching down very lightly, and you almost hear just a, just a tiny hint of the chord. So a lot of what we're hearing there is the percussive elements of the strings being muted. But I did it a little more um, obvious this time so you can actually hear the chord. So with this, I'm gonna strum the chord and then relax my finger. So push down and relax really, really fast. All right, so that's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, that kind of thing. All right, now the second rhythm I showed was what we'll call a double skank or a double chop, whatever we want to look at it. And this one here is the same idea, but we have to mute it really quickly and then also do an up strum that is also muted very quickly. All right, now we also have like a swing feel here. So it was like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. So that second up strum is a little delayed compared to like straight feel like. But, right, so that swing feel will add a lot, but you could play it straight. But here I'm using it as a swung, uh, swung rhythm. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So that's a lot of fun to do. The hardest part I find for most people that want to learn this kind of stuff is really just trying to mute the strings really quickly. So, like getting that Bob Marley sound too, where it's like. That can be tough. Um, now if you put it on the treble pickup. Probably a little more, a little closer to it. I also realize my setting here is actually a bass amp. So um, when you're hearing that, it might sound a little deep. Um, but yeah, basically any kind of trebly sound is going to work there, and we're just trying to stay out of the bass strings too much. So we have the single single chop or single skank. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The double chop or the double skank. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And then we're going to look at what we'll call the bubble. Okay, so uh, on piano with the bubbler, the bubble is going to be. Left hand, right hand, left hand. So the right hand is the chop, the, the skank, right? So one, two, three, four. And surrounding that, one and, the left hand's gonna hit the bass end of the chords, and then we're gonna hit the chord on the right hand, and then back again on the offbeat to the left hand, okay? So you can imagine if I just try to demo the piano, but like, it's not gonna sound like this on the guitar. That doesn't sound that good, but just to give you the idea, bass, treble, bass. 
that sounds way too low here. But to get it on the guitar, there's a few ways we can do it. So the way I did it in the, this video here, I tried to make it a little more obvious that I'm doing three strums. So I'm gonna go one and two and three and four and one and two and three. So I'm strumming the whole time. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So on the one and the three, I'm basically hitting a dead string. Now, you can also leave out the chop. So this is where it gets interesting. Leave out the single chop that we started with. And so we have like the one and two and three. And then it gives you that more of a ska feel, right? One. Now we can lengthen that first drum. And that's where it really gets fun. So this kind of stuff I do all the time. Like one and, a lengthened and. One and two, muted and then a really fast and after the where the chop would have been. All right, so you can do that with the same, it's basically a reggae rhythm here, but we're missing that chop, okay? Um, and now, early ska stuff, like... So it, it can be very similar depending on what you're playing, but the drum beat is gonna be different the feel of where you're feeling everything is gonna be a little different. So here's the reggae that I was showing you there, the, the bubble, without that middle chop, okay? That's with the swing feel, here's with the street feel. Sounds really fun. Here's with the swing feel. Okay, now without a drum beat, the contacts can be sort of lost and it sounds a little more like ska when we're doing that. But you can have a lot of fun playing around with it. I mean, play with a reggae drum beat, try to, you know, try your own rhythms out, see what you enjoy. But the real foundation is that one and two and three and four and. So making sure you get that single chop or single skank uh, to start off and then build on from there. Uh, so, tons of fun to be had here. If you have more questions about this, please let me know. Um, I'd love to sort of help answer them or figure out where you're at with this. And if you like this video, subscribe. Give me, uh, you know, give me some feedback and I'll see you soon.